Alrighty, hi, I'm Beck Lane, and this is uh, Catalyst and Company. Catalyst, where we really hope to be, Cat uh, Catalyst and Company, where we hope to be catalysts in each other's lives and in our own lives as well. Behind me is a canvas I talked about in my last video. As you can see, I did get um, pretty much everything taped out, all, the, all, the, uh, all of my friend Tyler's uh, graffiti work taped over. So when I start the image today, and this is the image I'll be working on, I can remove the tape once I'm done with the aerosol and I'll still have the markings. I'll be able to see them clearly. And that it gives me the option of leaving them as is, leaving them showing or covering them over with, covering bits of them over with aerosol, sprinkling aerosol over them. Or, uh, and applying oil. It'll just give me different options in the process. So I'm gonna start this in a little bit. Uh, we're gonna do a studio mate in another state, something we haven't done in a long time, but we're gonna do it today and it'll probably be posted tomorrow. But before we go any further, I just want to, um, I, wanted, I wanna follow up on yesterday's uh, video because I was a little bummed out I was really bummed out. I've been bummed out for a really long time. And I've been trying to turn uh, turn it around. This is what I want to address, is I've really been working for the past few weeks on turning that around and to stop uh, fixating on what I'm lacking. Uh, because, you know, old monsters pop up and all I hear is, you're never anything, blah, 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 blah you're gonna fail, you're gonna live, end up living in the streets, stuff people have told me. So I'm really, really doing everything I can to take that and stop that because I'm never going to get from where I am to where I wanna be and we won't if that's all that we're focused on or I'm focused on. So I've been, as I mentioned a couple of times, I've been uh, having myself sit down every day, every morning, and every time I start to feel panicky or anxious and writing to the universe and writing thank you notes and all that stuff and looking at what I have. And I know what I have is something in my pocket that keeps poking me. Oh, okay. Uh, I, know, I know I have support. And sometimes I forget that. I know I have you know, people are really passionate about my work and they're kind to me. And I get lost and forget it until it, you know, somebody, a friend pops up and I go, oh yeah, that's right, I have friends. Um, but I've been trying to make myself focus on the fact that I have friends. I'm lucky enough to have support. I have, I have people, I'm lucky enough to have people who go, what do you need? Now this morning I woke up to the biggest surprise. Um, I, um, a, a friend of ours sent a uh, gift certificate through Amazon and Dawn, I wanna say thank you because that propelled me. That was the catalyst to me making a new step. I went on my Patreon account and the link is down below. I mentioned it at the end of every video or almost every video, but I went into my Patreon account today and instead of sending a private message to the, to the people that, that have been sponsoring me through Patreon and sponsoring my artwork and, and this. And I wrote a public, I, I, posted, um, I posted something or other um, for private, for public viewing rather. So if you go to my pa uh, Patreon account, again, the link will be down below, uh, you can re read what I w wrote. And what I decided to do, ugh, getting there, what I decided to do was just lay it all bare. Not my frustrations and anger and upsets and sadness, not, not that, not that. We're trying not to do that. We're putting our foot down. We're trying, we're gonna do our best not to do that anymore. Instead, what I did is I went down, went in and I listed um, all my household expenses, um, my bank loan, which is due on Friday, and I have no idea how I'm going to pay it. Um, and uh, then what I need to get to the next step and listed out some of the things that I, I, I could do and how much they cost. Let's put it that way. I also put in links to or the address to my Cash App account 
maybe the link to cash app account and PayPal. So if you wanted to help, you've wanted to support, but I've been the saddest bastard in the world and you're tired of it. This is me turning over a new leaf and saying, we're putting our best foot forward from now on. I think I've been doing the best I could, but also living under this cloud of defeatism and uh, seeing what's lacking and constantly focused on, oh my God, I, I gotta do this, to, you know, tomorrow, I've gotta make this much money tomorrow. And just not getting myself in such a state that I can't do anything to help myself. Like actually painting and then promoting it online or putting it online. Like doing studio mate in another state. Like making you feel like you're a part of something good. Um, I want to say I'm sorry, but that is just a part of being human. And so there we are. That is just a part of being human and just a part of being uh, a struggling artist. Uh, my neighbor who I mentioned yesterday or in the last video, Addie, her ex husband soon to be ex-husband is an artist. And so we have conversations. Um, she bounces, I bounce ideas off of her. We go back and forth. And uh, she actually helped me yesterday when I was in a terrible state, a really bad, really bad state. But she talked to me, we went back and forth and back and forth and helped me to reconfigure or recalibrate my thinking a bit. And then I moved on and I went and picked up these canvases from Tyler and Roxy at uh, Black Lamp Tattoo in Gulfgate. Came back, had a bit more of a cry, listened to some podcasts that, that from made by artists and, and performers and writers who go through the same thing, suddenly felt better and pada. Had a good night's sleep, here we are. Long story again, long, long story but it's just the way we do. So anyway, what I wanna say is thank you, thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Linda and Anne and Domingo and Eric and Suzanne and Michelle and everyone else who, I don't have my list in front of me, but everyone else who has sent me support and cared for me, um, cared so deeply for me. They've reached out over the past, uh, God, decade? I don't know. No, uh, past couple months. Um, since I lost Bugsy in August, I've been in a really bad place um, off and on. And then uh, something, uh, a couple things happened two months ago. And it's just been, I felt like Charlie Brown has been kicked in the nuts. Or Linus, or... As one, one guy, one of my friends said, you're like Eeyore. And I don't want to do that anymore. So what we're going to do is uh, I, I am like, I am putting, I am trying to turn this ship around. Okay, I've used that analogy before. I love analogies. We're just going to do better. We're starting the day off with a lot of Advil. Uh, a lot of coffee, writing notes to the universe, thanking the universe, um, stating what I need to the universe, and then going in, making my bed, vacuuming, washing the dishes, uh, showering, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we feel just, just better, just better. So that's what I'm going to work on is being a good team, uh, sorry, being a good member of our community and hopefully at some point being a good, strong leader as an artist. That's one of my goals is to be a good, strong leader. So you're not looking to me, you're not coming on this channel, you're not watching my videos and walking away feeling as bad as I have. I really want you to feel good about yourself. I want you to know you're not alone, but I want you to feel good about yourself. I want you to walk away with something that helps lift you and not just con confirm and validate all the icky stuff that happens to us. 
let's move on and let's do better. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do now, I've already showered, I brushed my teeth, I made my bed, I put away my clothes, I washed my dishes, I did all that stuff. I'm going to leave here, I'm going to take a nice little walk, and then I'm going to come back and turn the camera back on and we'll do studio mate in another state. I want to say thank you again, Dawn, because you gave me the courage and, and the, you gave me the courage and, and actually permission to say, you know, to uh, go on Patreon and say, this is what I need. This is what I need. I'll add one more thing, of course. Uh, there's an Amanda Palmer video, Amanda Palmer of the Dresden Dolls. I love her. Um, she's so dark and burlesque and Kurt Vile. I love her and I love Kurt Vile anyway. I always have, but there's a, there's a video by Amanda Palmer and it's about asking and it was a TED talk she did about asking and how she learned to not be ashamed to ask for what she needs. I mentioned in the last video, I put the link up in there. I'll put it up again down below. And then I've watched it, I don't know how many times, but for some reason, I think because of Dawn this morning and that surprise gift certificate, which I've almost already spent, thank you so much. Everything pulled together and I was like, ripping the bandaid off, we're just gonna ask. We're gonna say what exactly what I need and I'm gonna throw it out into the universe and hopefully, uh, hopefully people will feel compelled to uh, lend a hand. Now, it isn't just about me band-aiding through the next week or the next 24 hours or the next month. I need, um, what I'm ultimately looking for is support enough where I've got um, a stable, foundation to stand on through Patreon, through TeePublic, through whatever means. I have a stable foundation to stand on. And then I'm not coming on here panic stricken over bank loan or rent that isn't paid or whatever. I'm not completely panic stricken. We can actually focus on this, which should be our primary focus anyway. And then I can move on to promoting, uh, to building uh, uh, promotional packs, uh, just go along with me. Uh, helping other artists is very big to me and uh, building a community of artists that we work together and do shows again, or you know, we come up with new ways of doing shows. So I have a lot of goals and our friend Lisa asked me, what is your primary goal? I don't have one goal. I have lists of them and they're hanging up everywhere. But before I can address getting my work in Berlin, getting, uh, uh, contacting the Yeyu Kusama Museum in Tokyo to get my portrait of her maybe in there, applying to museums like the, uh, like the uh, Women's Art Museum in Washington, DC. Okay, that's another conversation. Or getting in anywhere getting in any gallery, getting anywhere, before I can start approaching people about my work and my drive and my ambitions, and really start connecting and reaching out. I've got to make some money. I've got to have, I've got to have a foundation. I have to have income, as do, as do you. Now, don't forget, too, um, I'm not really big on handouts. I'm not but I'm really stuck. However, you can help through T Public, through Patreon, where you do get rewards. You can also, I have so much artwork, so much artwork. I have about a hundred pieces in my storage slash bedroom slash garage area out there. A hundred pieces climate controlled in there. I have uh, two galleries that I primarily work with. Chasing Galleries here in Sarasota, so you can call them, ask about pricing, ask about artwork, go on my website, look. So we've got Chasing Galleries here in Sarasota, and then we have uh, Jay Louise at Blue Egg Gallery in Fort Lauderdale. All their information is down below as well. So maybe you'd like to purchase a piece, maybe you'd like to make a down payment on a future, uh, future uh, purchase. 
let's make it work. Let's make it a win, win, win for everybody. Let's get me in a, in a stable place. Let's get, so I can help others get into a stable place or something. I don't know what I'm saying anymore because I'm talking and my words. But anyway, let's get going in a whole new direction with fresh, fresh perspective, okay? And thank you to my friend, Carrie. How could I forget to thank my friend, Carrie, for all he's done as well. All right, I'm gonna go now. Ready, Carrie? I'm gonna go for my walk. I'm coming back and then we're gonna paint. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna take on this world and conquer together and stuff like that. Ready, Carrie? Ciao. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Boink.